Hi everyone, um, as stated, my name is Jun Remy and I work as an assistant in information science in Geneva. And with my professor, Rene Schneider, we had a very small project that is called TIX, so towards Troop of Compliance and Origin in Switzerland. You may have seen some stickers downstairs and wonder what it was, so now you will understand what TIX means. Of course, uh, for a project, you need objectives, results, and we had these four objectives in mind. And so last year we did an online survey to see what kind of technology stacks the, the like libraries, archives, and museums were using in Switzerland, and also what kind of training they would need if they wanted to implement uh, triple F solutions. The big thing that I'm going to be talking about uh, is the, um, the white paper. So we designed one uh, with a set of recommendations with the help of the triple F community. And I'm going through like the, the main, um, like the main sections of, of it uh, in the next slides. And as mentioned uh, earlier, we um, we had a Bern Triple event at the Swiss National Library, and that was one of the great things to do is is to have people coming to these local events, and you can really have um, like foster a community. So my talk is more about the last two bits. So my white paper, or, which is called Friedrich Washbar, and if you wonder why, you can ask me at the lunch break. So Friedrich Washbar has a couple of things. So first of all, the main principles of IIIF, and thanks to the amazing workshop that have been done uh, over the past few years. Uh, here there is an example from um, Jack Reed and Drew Winjet, this little image. And so that's the kind of information you have, like what is IIIF, when, where, who, and you have also the super logo that is that you can that is present throughout the documents. So just easy for the reader to understand uh, what are the best uh, links to use. Next step, because it's based um, in Switzerland, we I did a small landscape review of all the different platforms that are TruePath compatible. Put the link of the um, TruePath top level um, collection if there is one. And you, you have here an example of Imanescripta, which has been TruePath compliant, um, I think it's been a year now. And the most important bit maybe for people outside of Switzerland are the use cases. Uh, so I managed to gather six use cases uh, within the GLAM community. So this one is more like a museum related um, use case. When you have some background information, the success story, and for this case, is the collaboration between Digerati and the Victor and Albert Museum with an online exhibition. And I gave recommendation on which tools to, to use. Of course, I'm biased. I say, okay, for that, you may use Universal Viewer. For this, you may use Mirador and so on. And don't be angry at me if your project is not on it. The goal of this white paper is really, this is the first version, and if you want to upgrade it, please contribute and I will release a second version or 1.1 or and call and have a different name and we'll see what name it will be given. And at the very end, and that's a section that I want to uh, expand, uh, I gave tips for smaller institutions because uh, we also hear from big players but really you don't need to be a big player to be part of this community. Um, how to discover the Triple F universe, and um, so for, we had great examples from BBC Mao and the Japanese discovery platform. They also linked to that, and I, I hope that we can have more uh, that, that kind of platforms in the future. Something about PIDs, and uh, some information about the Triple F cookbook. And I'd, uh, in, the part, in this white paper, I also had like a very high um, overview of what you should do. Uh, yeah, it's quite radical. It's a yes, no, and then come back for stage one. Uh, so you have to gather some information, and thanks to uh, amazing works done by the Brumfield Labs and Jason Ronaldo, you have these amazing uh, questionnaire and step-by-step -step implementation guidelines, and I, I have put the link there so you can have a look, and the, maybe in version two, we'll have more information about authentication, search content APIs, or all the other discovery APIs that are now in um, Node 0.2, Node 0.3 uh, version. So to design and conduct a, some kind of alignment outreach program, uh, so I did this, this burn event at the Swiss National Library, of course, with X-Seekers, it works. 
And I had this, this program was like, like this. So first of all, introductions, like general introduction, like in the showcase what we had on Monday. Um, and people from the UK, France, and um, the Netherlands came to give their, their viewpoint of IIIF, so use cases from the global framework, what has been done in, in Switzerland over the past few years, and how to better implement promote IIIF, so that was some kind of breakout sessions, and I had some very interesting feedback, so, and I like to use this feedback to, for new projects. And at the end of each session, we had these kind of informal roundtables. Uh, that was fun, I think. The feedback I had were, well, it should be um, like more technical. So I was like, okay, so that's the feedback I received from the survey that I just launched. So hands-on workshops, what we had yesterday, more information about search content and authentication APIs. And it's true that we don't have a lot of uh, examples to show. So that's one of the things that are quite um, important, apparently, to the part participants. And also a full IIIF implementation example, like how did one institution go from zero to uh, full IIIF? But also I had people complaining, saying, no, it should be less technical, so maybe you can have two parallel tracks. Okay, that's a challenge, so maybe more events, right? And more IIIF use cases uh, in terms of um, archives and AV. Uh, so I had actually quite a lot, couple of people coming from the archiving community and also uh, people wanting to implement IIIF only when AV will, material can be um, done through the Presentation 3 API, which is now the case. I mean, almost. And that's just pictures from the breakout session. Uh, next steps, well, so you see all the dots, that's all the IIIF compliant platforms in Switzerland. Two years ago, there was only one, eCodices. Um, and so what I want to see in this map in a couple of years is more dots. And that's the perspective that I would like to see. Sorry. So other perspectives, a follow-up project, uh, more uh, an increase when image and presentation three become stable. And more application also outside of the cultural heritage. Field. We had people coming from private institutions in my event, and I was very thrilled to see them. Final remarks, and that's a comment from Mark and Senzo. Uh, in their plan to keep this report up to date as solutions, solutions changes evolve or become outmoded, yes, there are solutions. Please review my white paper, give me feedback, I will update it. That's easy. And so you need to look at everyone together, foster people um, to have a community and most importantly, have drinks afterwards. So thank you very much. <laughs>